As always, don't forget to check the video description down below for the best price on tools and parts I use in today's project. Today, we got, I think it's a 97 inch, just check the title, it'll be right. Um, Toyota Camry, it's a four cylinder, can be changed to an alternator. Let's check it out. First thing, disconnect that battery. I believe it's a, what's that look like? It looks like a 12 or a 13. Um, loosen that up, take, you're just gonna twist, come on over here. We're gonna loosen this guy up. Why can't I see what's happening? Anyways, this connector, you're gonna take them off. Um, I actually like to do the negative. I swear this video is gonna get better. Sorry, I don't know why I was trying to film that front facing. But anyways, yeah, just go ahead, take your, it's like 12, 13, this one's a 10. These are new connectors. So just loosen up, twist it, and take one off. I take the negative off. You don't have to take the positive off. Uh, customer just already had that off, so I just kinda left it off there. Then we're gonna come over here. Now, first thing you're gonna do, there's a 14 right there. You're gonna loosen your 14, and then you got, it looks like a 12 right there. You're gonna loosen that 12, and then lefty loosen this guy is going to loosen the tension on your belt. So go ahead and loosen all the way down until you can take your belt, just slip your belt off. And I'm also gonna take an eight millimeter. I'm gonna take this nut off right here so we can get this off. Then we're gonna take a 10, we're gonna take this nut off, and then this will just kinda move back this little rubber rubber thing right there, and you can see it's a squeeze pull. So you're gonna push down on this top tab and grab it on the other side, squeeze, and I can't do it one-handed, I have to use two hands, but that will pull right out, no problem. If you have any problems, you can squeeze, take a flathead, kinda pop it out. Okay guys, now, once you've loosened this down a little bit, you'll just be able to slide your belt off to the side. And then once you've taken this off, you can go ahead and set this off to the side. Now, if you did not disconnect your uh, battery wire, this will be the point where that thing touches something, it's gonna spark, probably pop a fuse. Um, also this connector, it did just squeeze and pull right out with two hands. Last thing we gotta do, we have a 12 here, I gotta take him all the way out and it's 14 here. Take him all the way out, and then I'll go ahead and begin to take the alternator out. I might take a like a little pry bar and pry behind here to pry the alternator out. Okay guys, now, once I got the two bolts out, I got that one out and this one out, just be careful, there is a washer right there. You don't wanna drop that washer. If you do, make sure you find it or put another one on there. Um, and then I'm just kind of setting them off to the side there. Then you take left hand here, right hand there, just wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. And this thing came up, I didn't even need the pry bar. So that is the removal. And now I'll put the new one on. Uh, installation, it's just gonna be the reverse of the removal. Uh, not too bad of a job, shouldn't have any problems. So that'll conclude our short little project for today. Thanks for watching, see you next time.